Hey guys, Brendan New Productions here, and welcome to my next installment of uh, how to program with Java. I believe this is part 12, maybe part 13, maybe part 11. I, I'm not really keeping track, sorry. Um, but today, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the J option pane and how to actually compare doubles. Um, now let's start off with a J option pane part of the tutorial. A J option pane is a little pop-up that actually pops up, uh, sort of like a message box in visualbasic.net, and allows the user to actually type something or uh, allows the user to input information uh, or receive information. So using a J option pane is very simple, and uh, what we're going to actually do is get the user's input on a certain topic and then return it back to them. So in our uh, sample program here, we're just going to create a main, so public static void main, and this is what's going to be run when we run our program. And inside of our main, we're actually going to get the user's input. So to do this, we need to declare a variable. Uh, so we're going to get string, because the user is going to type in a string. And um, we're going to call it fingers equal to, and this is where we use the J option pane. So we're going to say J option pane, option pane dot show input dialog and then we need to type in a message so I'm gonna type in how many fingers do you have okay and um, it's actually going to tell you to uh, import J option pane so before you even start using this you need to import javax j a v a java x dot swing dot J option pane and now we've actually got the users input on how many fingers they have so now what we're going to do is actually return that back to them. So we're going to type in joption pane dot show, and um, there are several dialog options. We are going to use a message dialog for this one. So show message dialog uh, parent component. You're just going to want to type null in for this one because we don't have a parent component right now. And the message is going to be you have, and then we're going to say fingers, fingers. So if we run this program, um, it's going to create a new variable called fingers and store in that variable whatever we type in the J option dialog or J option pane, and then it's going to pop up with a new J option pane telling us how many fingers we have. So let's go ahead and run this project and uh, press OK here. And as you can see, it pops up with a dialog here. So how many fingers do you have? Well, I for one have five fingers. Uh, oh, uh, technically, I have ten fingers. Uh, five on each hand. Or if you want to be uh, one of those weird people, you actually have eight fingers and two thumbs. But for this sake, we'll count thumbs as fingers because, you know, never mind. I wouldn't even get into that debate. Uh, <laughs> um, so I have ten fingers, and I'm going to press OK here. And then it just tells us we have ten fingers. Congratulations. OK. So now what we're going to want to do is actually get the user's um, input and turn it into a double to go into the next part of our tutorial. So we're going to type, um, let's see, what can be in a double? Uh, we'll just ask them. Um, so we're going to say number equals. Now, when you do a J option pane, it returns a string value. So in order to actually turn it into a double, we need to parse it as a double. So this can be done with double dot parse double. And then the string, which is j option pane dot show show input dialog. And then the message is going to be what is three divided by two. So now we have a double called number uh, equal to the parse double of what is three divided by two. So the user is obviously going to input 1.5 if they're correct. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to actually see if this answer is correct. So this comes to the second part of the tutorial. So normally, uh, when comparing numbers, what you, wanted to, what you would want to do is number equals 1.5, which is correct, but it's only a good way of doing it if you're working with integers. If you're working with doubles, uh, the computer may have rounded the double inaccurately, or uh, some calculations with the double may have made it um, may have made it like hard to access. 
So what we're actually going to do, whoa, is take the number uh, and then subtract it by the number we want to compare it to. So if number minus 1.5, and then if this is less than a very small number, so let's just say 0 0.0001, then we are going to want to do something. So if the number is 1.5, then 1.5 minus 1.5 would be 0, which is less than 0 0.0001. This is good, considered good style, and a lot of programmers actually uh, smile upon this simply because it seems like you know what you're doing. Even if you don't understand this, you should do this. Uh, like, for example, if uh, a user inputs 1 over 3. So if a user inputs uh, 1 divided by 3, which technically equals 0.3, and then you multiply this by 3, which in math would equal 1. However, programmer returns it as 0.9999999999. So what we can do is we can say if 0.9999999999 minus, and then the number we're comparing it to, 1 is less than 0.0001, then it's good. And in this case, 0.9999999999 minus 1 is in fact less than 0 0.000001, so we can say that it did the calculation correctly, which in fact 0.99 repeating does equal 1, uh, but we're not going to talk about that. That's just a good example for you. So if the number is 1.5, if the user inputs 1.5, then we are going to tell them that they're correct. So J option pane dot show message message dialog uh, no parent component and the message is going to be you are are correct however if the number is not 1.5 else we are going to say option pane dot show message dialog null you are wrong Okay, so we can go ahead and test this out right now. We're going to run the application. So what is 3 divided by 2? Well, it's 1.5. And uh, we're going to press OK. And I am correct. So this calculation worked out good. And uh, apparently I'm correct. And where did that little message thing go? There it is. You are correct. Good. So our application works perfectly. And um, now this brings me to one more point before I close this tutorial. This comment right here is technically uh, necessary. When programming, what you want to do is make a habit of commenting everything that um, will not make sense once you open it again. So for example, we're importing something that obviously makes sense. We're declaring the class, the, we're declaring the main. This is all stuff you do on a regular basis. We're creating a number and um, whoa, making it so it's uh, the double form of what is 3 divided by 2. Now, this is the part that can get confusing. If number minus 1.5 is less than 0 0.00001. If you are absent for like three months and pick up the project, you might say, why didn't they just say if number equals equals 1.5? So you just, um, you could remind yourself that this is like a double calculation. So if the user inputs, inputs 1.5. So if you you open the project in a long time or if someone else opens up your code they know what you're talking about with this if statement and uh, the else isn't really mandatory but you could say if the user inputs anything else than 1.5 so commenting is a very important practice while programming because if anybody else ever touches your code you want them to also understand your logic so uh, that's it for this tutorial. You now know how to pop up with little message boxes, and um, you also know how to uh, compare doubles. Now, these J option dialogs, I'm just going to say, since I did my uh, applet tutorial, these J option dialogs are how you're going to get the user input for now in applets. Because you cannot do a scanner, you cannot get user input uh, through the console in an applet because an applet doesn't have a console. So, all of you that are making your own applets that require user input, you're going to want to use a J option pane. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you're feeling generous, you could pop me up a donation. Um, and thanks for watching. Have an excellent, fantastic, 
awesome day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.